Those tapers recycled, as you can see, those two print dates.
And this tape has the Hit Entertainment logo at the end with the Nick Jr. logo on it. Kind of the same thing with the 2004 VHS of Best of Gordon, which I will show you in a little bit. I have not checked this tape yet. To see if this has the Hit Entertainment logo or not. I'll have to play, play this tape someday. So. Same thing with this next tape, I also have not tested this to see if this has the Hit Entertainment logo anywhere on this tape. Unfortunately, this one does not, let me repeat, not have the Hit Entertainment logo anywhere on this tape, but oh well. I'm still happy to have this tape, no to the less. Not to the less. This one does the this one does have the hit entertainment logo at the beginning and the end.
This one also has the entertainment logo at the beginning and the end. This one also has the entertainment logo at the beginning and the end. Hold on. Let me see if I can show you how to print it. Here it is. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. This next one is pretty rare, and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. Want to know why this is rare? This is a screener. As you can see, it's got the symbols SCR, which those are seen on the Lyric Studios and Hit Entertainment tapes that are screeners, and this is one of them. I was very happy to end up with this. I was not expecting that at all. There even used to be a not for individual sale sticker right there, but unfortunately, I un I peeled it off. But oh well. Still happy to have this tape. Yeah, really neat. Ah. Let's open this up. Okay. Let's flip it around. I don't have this one yet. Either on VHS or DVD. I would like to get that. I would like to get this one someday. Maybe on VHS, because I think it's air. Next one is another red one. Wait till I show you the ink label on this one. Y'all may be surprised. Again, you'll just have to wait and see the ink label to find out why. Ready? Yeah, it's the very 20th Century Fox print. It's still the original 2005 release. It's just a very, very reprint. I was really happy to find this. I don't see those too often. Something else you don't see too often is a Thomas and Friends VHS has a white tape. Yep, this tape is actually white.
Let's use the bronze danger diesel engine toy. The bronze diesel engine. Okay, that's enough. Okay. I think this is different. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, you know what? This is different. I'll show it. It's not the same as the so during celebration VHS tape. This is different. Completely different. Let's flip it around. <laughs> oh, sideways. Alright, use the tape. It's white. I told ya. Pretty cool, huh? You don't see those too often. Very happy with this purchase. Give me a second. I can't get this back in. And in it all goes. Then on to our next tape. One moment. Okay. This tape is actually super common, despite this one being eight. 2006 release. Not that rare at all. This can easily be found on eBay. I hate Angelino Ballerino, so fuck Angelino Ballerino. I only like Barney, Bob the Builder, and Thomas and Friends, of course. I think I may have showed you the tape already, but if not, here it is once again with the print date right there. Just in case I didn't show it. I probably did, but I'm gonna show it again anyway. And now I cannot get this back in. Hold on. There we go. Now. This is the most rarest of them all. Yep, this is the last Thomas and Friends VHS ever created. Oops, did not mean to drop the tape like that. Okay, Let's see if I can put the print date for y'all. Uh, hold on, Let's see, where is it at? Uh, okay, y'all can barely see. Oh, there you go. There it is. Okay. Now we go to the DVDs, which I have a pretty good amount of them. Okay, here we go. DVDs.
This DVD is very... I can't find many copies of this DVD anymore. <clears throat> Oops, I just got to show this buckle. This is a really cool box set. I'm glad I found this. I love this box set. It's pretty cool. Glad I bought this. Accidentally skipped a little bit of it. <clears throat> there we go. So dumb. <laughs> They're troublesome trucks. I apologize for that background noise I do. Try to focus on me.
More incoming distractions, aren't they? <sighs> My apologies once yet again. And we're just gonna let everything fall. <laughs> I can't get these back in, so. Okay. I promised I showed you this. So give me a moment. Hold on. And here y'all go. This little pamphlet I promised to show you. This is the perfect video to show this little pamphlet. Let's flip it over. Okay, let me fold this back up and I'll show you the booklet and the disc if I have not. Uh, no. Hold on. I did this wrong. Oh. Shh. No. No. I kind of ruined it. No, oh, well. Uh. There we go. I'm in Mc. I'm in Mc Tokyo right now. I just ruined this little booklet. Oh well. <laughs> I'd like to get this DVD right here. This one. I'm pretty sure that's hard to find. Even with the booklet, but... I don't care if I don't have the booklet. I just want the full box in. Not just like the... Um, the casing. The whole thing with the outer sleeve. Which, that's gonna be difficult to find.
Mike tonight also sucks. This was the very first Thomas and Friends CGI animated thing I've bought. I can't pull out the other disc. See why I don't like these uh, stacking cases? I have a bunch more DVDs like this. And that's just awful. Fucking awful. I just had to drop the F bomb right there. My apologies. And this Bob the Builder animation. Yeah. We're almost done. A couple more DVDs to go and two Blu rays. You can see me in the disc. I wasn't straight. No. Uh. My only two Blu-rays. There's two more I want. One of them being uh, Tale of the Brave and... What was that other one released by Lionsgate? King of the Railway. I would like to get that one as well someday.
last thing I have to show you. And it looks like we're gonna reach the 40 minute mark of this video. But I'm pretty sure some of y'all are still going to enjoy the video anyway, despite it being long. can't get this opened. And that's my Thomas and Friends VHS DVD Blu-ray collection for 2019. I'll catch y'all here.